Hey everybody, so today's topic is uh, mucus retention cysts. So what are mucus retention cysts? So these are um, things that are typically found within the sinuses. Uh, so what happens, so all of us in, inside of our sinuses, we have lining around the edges uh, that's called the mucosa. And one of the functions of the mucosa is to actually produce mucus. So when you blow your nose and mucus comes out, um, that mucus was originally produced from the lining inside of the nose and the sinuses called the mucosa. Um, and microscopically within this lining, we have, you know, millions and millions of little mucus glands that are producing the mucus. So what happens sometimes is one of these little mucus glands gets blocked and it starts to back up and it forms a little balloon of mucus. And sometimes that balloon gets bigger and bigger to where we can see it on an x-ray. Uh, and that's what a mucus retention cyst is. Um, so mucus retention, meaning that mucus is getting stuck and retained in there. And then cyst is just a medical term for basically a balloon of fluid or a little collection of fluid. Um, so mucus retention cysts, uh, while they can happen within any of the sinuses, uh, they're most common in the maxillary sinuses, which are the sinuses in the cheeks underneath the eyes. And usually they sit down on the floor of the sinus, kind of right above where your upper teeth are. Um, so it's pretty common that I get patients referred to me um, because a mucus retention cyst was found on a either a CT scan or an MRI that they had done. Um, and usually that, you know, X-ray or MRI was done for another reason, whether it was headaches or dizziness or they were in a car accident or whatever it is. Um, but sometimes it is done for, you know, more typical sinus complaints like stuffy nose or pressure or those sorts of things. Um, so, you know, frequently, you know, I'll see a patient, they were referred for the cyst in their sinuses. Um, so I would say first off, most of the time, uh, nothing needs to be done about a mucus retention cyst. Um, so, you know, unless there are other symptoms of sinus infection or sinusitis or other signs of a problem. So if there's just an isolated cyst, it's down in the bottom of the sinus, it's nowhere near the opening of the sinus, which is actually up in the top of the sinus. And then when I look at the x-ray or the CT, there's no sign of other inflammation or problems elsewhere. So the remainder of that sinus looks normal. The opening out of it is not blocked. Usually in that case, uh, I don't recommend doing anything about the mucus retention cyst, uh, particularly if the patient's not having any symptoms like stuffy nose, pressure, uh, drainage, uh, or the other typical symptoms of sinusitis. Now, the one exception is if the mucus retention cyst has gotten big enough to where it's blocking the opening of the sinus or causing other problems, in that case, it may make sense to actually go in and, you know, remove the cyst or at least open it up so it's not blocked anymore. Um, and that's a pretty simple thing to do if necessary. But again, most of the time, I don't think it's necessary to do much about these cysts. Um, so anyway, um, you know, if that's something that you're found to have on an x-ray or a CT scan, uh, I can certainly see you and we can talk it over in the office. So I hope you guys have a good day and I hope that was uh, helpful for you. Talk to you soon.